and that uh, specific rare disease is alpha monocytosis. It, it is a rare lysosomal storage disorder, which uh, has a prevalence of about uh, one in a million to one in two million people. And um, because it's a, a lysosomal storage disorder, it, it has a metabolic and systemic disorder that uh, manifests itself already in the first years of life. And it's typically diagnosed around, uh, I think between ages two and four. It's a disease which is better known in Europe than in the United States, I think just based on the story and the history of, of literature. And it's a disease for which there is an approved treatment in, in Europe. And we are in active discussions with uh, the FDA uh, to potentially file a biologic license application with the agency later in the year. The treatment uh, that we develop is an enzyme replacement therapy. And we've essentially already experimented it in a number of clinical trials, uh, um, essentially mainly uh, outside of the United States. And um, we hope that uh, we're going to be able to convince the agency about an approval later in, in the year. Alpha Man is not very well known, just around, uh, you know, globally, just because it's very, very rare. And also because it, it is a difficult disease to to detect and to uh, diagnose differentially from some of the other lysosomal storage disorders. One of the things that we often discuss with the physicians is what are some of the key, very distinctive clinical manifestations that pertain to alpha men that are not typical of any other disease. And interestingly, there is one specific uh, symptom, which is essentially loss of uh, um, basically patients go deaf, right? So um, the, the ability, uh, loss of hearing, you know, the ability to, uh, to hear is lost over time for the patients. And then additionally, uh, patients tend to live up to their 40s, perhaps 50s sometimes, but oftentimes after the second decade and in the third decade, they become wheelchair bound. So there are significant ramifications in, you know, on the neuromotor function and, and a progressive uh, neurodegeneration as well. And the other aspect that I should mention is that a lot of the patients see a progressive reduction in their immune response. And because of that, they fall victim of uh, um, infections and in infection rates are significantly higher for these patients than for um, healthy subjects. Typically urinary tract infection, respiratory tract infections. And over time, these infections are probably the uh, events that are most conducive to the demise of the patients. So alpha man is not very well known, but it's a tough disease. It's a disease for which there is no treatment approved in the United States. There is only supportive care. And we believe that much remains out there to be done in terms of increasing disease awareness, uh, potentially also including alpha man in newborn screening in the battery of uh, newborn screening tests, as well as uh, um, working with other stakeholders to get a treatment approved.